In this tutorial, I will be showing how to use Captivate Prime LMS. This is part one of the tutorial on LMS. So I would be covering only those features that are required to complete the learning experience of LMS. We can divide whole work cycle in three parts. 1. Creating course. 2. Adding learners to the system. 3. Exploring the courses as a learner. While doing so, we will be also becoming familiar with three main roles that exist in Adobe Prime. That is, we will be using author, administrator, and learner, while going through this whole process. Let us proceed. Creating Course Step 1. Login into your Adobe Prime account. Let me log in with my Adobe Prime ID. Once you log in, you may always see such video help pop up. You can avoid this by clicking checkbox do not show at login. If this is your first time login to Adobe Prime, you are logged in as administrator. Otherwise you are logged in as the role that you were using at last logout. Currently we are logged in as administrator. But, as we need to create and set new course in LMS, we will need to log in as author. In fact, we need not log out and log in again, we can just switch over from administrator to author role. This will transfer your default admin role to author role for time being. As a author, we will be performing two main tasks, creating content and creating course. Let us do one by one all these. Click on create content to upload the content for our course. Before we upload, we need to supply basic information. Now let us upload course content files. I have already created three lessons in Word. Lesson 1, 2 and 3. And these would be our content. Selecting lesson 1 as first module. Set expected duration a learner will require to complete this module. There are few more options, but we'll ignore that and press save button. You can see that uploaded module is added into content library. Similarly add all other modules. Adding module 2. Set duration. And press save button. Similarly adding third module. Once all modules are uploaded and added to the system, let us add them all in our course. For that, first we will need to create a course. Let us create a course. From the left hand side panel, click on the course. Existing course are displayed. Click on add button to create a new course. Add course name and description to the course. Now, we need to select module type. They are of four types. Self-paced module, virtual classroom, classroom, and activity module. We will select self-paced module. To add modules to our course, select module 1, module 2, and module 3. Once all required modules are selected for the course, click on add button. Press save button to save the newly created course. Once you save the basic information of the course, LMS will forward you to next step. Here. You will need to further configure your course. In Enrollment Type, select Self Enrolled. You can see that there are many settings, but we will be using only two important settings. Required Skills and Learner Enrollment Method. Save it. Once course is saved with the content, you can publish it. Press Publish button to publish the course. As an author of the course, you would like to see whether all is well. To recheck the course, just click on three dots of the course and click on the view course. You can see that modules are not in proper sequence. And learning path is also not in order. To correct all these, click on edit button to edit our settings. Drag modules to place in correct order. Also set learning path from unordered to ordered. Once you are OK with settings, press Republish button. So, finally our course is set and published. It would be also advisable to preview our course. Click on Preview as Learner. And just go through one by one modules as if you are learner.
So, let us quick recall all steps that we performed so far. Very first, we created content by uploading the content. Then, created a course and added content to it. Published the course. And finally, tested the course as a learner. Please note that, although we have published the course before testing as a learner, it is better to publish the course only after testing the course as learner. So, we have successfully completed part one of three parts. Let us proceed for part two. Adding user as learner. To add users, we need to log in as administrator. Let us switch our role from author to administrator. You can see that as an administrator, you have many more options. Now we need to add learner to this LMS system. For that, we will add user to the system. Click on the add users. Click on add button. There are three options. Click on single user option. Type in learner's name and email ID and press add button. Learner account got created and system has automatically sent email to the learner. Once required users are created, we can sign out. By this, we have completed part two. Let us quickly summarize steps that we performed in this part. First of all, we switched our role from author to administrator, then added a learner. In fact, we added user as learner. System by itself has sent email to the learner. With this, we have completed part two of three parts. Let us proceed for part three. Learners log in. Now onward, what you are seeing is from learner's perspective. That is, all screenshots would be of the learner Barack Obama's computer. When learner Obama logs into his email, he finds mail from Adobe Prime. We can see that email contains all detail steps required to log in and consume the course. Let us click on the given link. Learner Obama has Adobe ID, which he created while downloading any Adobe product. So logging in using his Adobe ID. After login, click on the course catalog button. Click on the relevant course. Selected course page gets open. He can see names of all modules. But cannot explore it, because first he need to enroll for that course. He can get enrolled by simply clicking on the enroll button. Once enrolled, now learner can study that course by exploring one by one modules. As he has not completed any module, we can see his status as zero out of three completed. Now let us explore one by one all modules. Note that, our LMS has recorded learning of Mr. Obama and all three modules that were opened by Obama are marked completed. Learner can now log out from the Adobe Prime. With this, we have completed third and last part of LMS work cycle. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.